Oracle Business Intelligence 11G architecture. Now the heart of Oracle Business Intelligence is the Oracle Business Intelligence Server or BI Server and the Oracle Business Intelligence Presentation Server, the BI Presentation Server. The Oracle BI Server provides native federated access to data sources together with security, calculations, and data navigation. The Oracle BI Presentation Server connects to the Oracle BI Server to obtain data, which it presents to users in the form of analysis, reports, and dashboard. In addition to these two servers, there are three other servers that work with them to provide core Oracle Business Intelligence functionality. These are the Oracle BI Cluster Controller. This server provides a central point of access for the Oracle BI Presentation Server when two or more BI servers are working together in a cluster, together with load balancing, failover, and other cluster services. Oracle BI Java Host. This server works alongside the BI Presentation Server to provide connectivity to Java Tasks and the Java-based Oracle BI Publisher, as well as to support chart generation. Oracle BI Scheduler. This server is used to schedule and automate the production and distribution of analysis, as well as to automate workflow tasks based around business intelligence functionality. These three servers together work with Oracle BI Server and the Oracle BI Presentation Server are known in Oracle Business Intelligence 11G terminology as system components. This, from what can be noticed from this diagram, the system components are these items to the right. You have the Oracle BI Server, you have the Oracle BI Presentation Server, then you have the Oracle BI scheduler and then you have the oracle bi cluster controller and finally you have the oracle bi java host all you know all these different items oracle process managed and notification uh, system in a simplified form the obiee 11g basic architecture at a high level its components can be divided into two main parts that those which are called Java components and those which are called system components. Now a description of Java components. The parts of Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition that are written in the Java Enterprise Edition and are run directly in the application server. These components include the Business Intelligence Publisher, the Business Intelligence Office Plugin, the Business Intelligence Security Service, the Business Intelligence service-oriented architecture services, the business intelligence action services, and the JMXM beans that are used for configuring OBIEE. Then the system components, which were implemented as Windows services in 10G and include the business intelligence server, the business intelligence presentation services, and the business intelligence scheduler, and the Business Intelligence Cluster Controller. The diagram below shows the high-level architecture for OBIEE 11G with a diagram showing a single OBIE BI domain, a container for a complete single and perhaps clustered installation of the Oracle Business Intelligence Server. You will notice from the basic architecture that there are two different components that were previously described. That was the Java components which are all these different items to the left. Then the system components, which are all the different items to the right. Then outside of these two different components, you have the business intelligence platform metadata tables. The distinction between Java components that are written in Java and managed by WebLogic server and system components that are, as, that are run that run as operating system services and are written in C++ is due to the history of Oracle Business Intelligence. The core server components, system components in 11G terminology were written in C++, but most new development of 
of distinct new functionality carried out by Oracle Corporation has been carried out in Java as part of the Oracle Fusion, Major, Fusion middleware. Rather than convert all of the legacy servers to Java applications from C++, however, these have been lifted into the new 11G architecture but allowed to run standalone outside of the Oracle WebLogic server domain structure and are now called system components. This approach is actually common to many Oracle Fusion middleware products that need to combine long-standing C-based server products with most recent Java-based applications. And both sets of products to benefit from the same management and integration infrastructure based around Oracle Enterprise Manager Fusion Middleware Control and Oracle WebLogic Server. Now that we've gone to the end of um, the introduction of Oracle Business Intelligence and its architecture, there's one book that I recommend that everyone who takes this course should get. And the ISBN number is 978-0071-798747. And the book title itself, the short version of it is that Oracle Business Intelligence 11G Developer's Guide. It's got an extended title, which also includes this other portion that says, Build and Deploy Secure High Performance Dashboards and Reports. And this book was published by Oracle Press and was written by Mark Rittman of the, the Rittman Mead Consulting Company. You can procure this book from... Uh, Amazon by just typing in the shared ISBN number and this is uh, the actual version of the book that I recommend and uh, once you procure this book you should not have any problems um, working with uh, and understanding in more detail the workings of Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition 11G. Thank you for watching and I look forward to showing you how to work through this software.